So it's a Sunday morning, a breezy Sunday morning here in Auckland, New Zealand. And if you are a Kiwi, you might find yourself down here. This is called the, uh, the French Market. And it's kind of like a, well it is, it's a farmer's market. And you'll see individuals coming and selling their various produce items. Here's some... Yeah, organic. All organic? Yes, everything is... here is all organic. All organic, okay, wonderful. So it's all organic food. Now, is everything at the French market, are all the food here organic or just your no, food? No, just us. We have been food from that one on the uh -huh. last year, so that's even the best Christmas gift. Ah. It focuses on 10 years of slavery. Wonderful. Okay. So there you go, organic. So just I'm going to walk through the crowd here and give you an idea. Here's the Green Egg Company, one dozen of eggs, eight uh, New Zealand dollars. Eight, uh, New Zealand dollar is, uh, you, you, you just make, or actually an American dollar is 0.8. So you would take $8 and that would be what, 10% uh, would be 80 cents, double that, that's 160. So you're looking at about uh, $7.40 for a dozen, dozen eggs. And I'm just going to keep walking through the, the crowd here. It looks like they've got some uh, sausage over here. See if I can't uh, come in and get a get a view of the sausage here. Kind of reminiscent of, uh, of Budapest, if you will. So can I get uh, two in a row? You never know what to expect when you're going to wake up here. I've been here a week and, you know, it just goes from uh, one day being pretty, you know, warm and uh, warm and sunny and and here's a uh, some beautiful avocados that they've got here. Uh, one day it goes from being warm and, and sunny to, uh, you know, the next day being breezy and you're not sure if it's going to rain. Here is a uh, menu that I'll share with you. They've got uh, Scott's filet, sirloin steak. There's that 31.95 per kilogram. So I'm not as good on the uh, weight conversion as I am on the, the money conversion, but you can see the prices there. So we'll just keep uh, keep walking through. And then there's a indoor. There's an indoor market here. It's called La La Segale. Here's some more uh, more produce. It's actually be a good place for me to come and do some shopping. I love the look of the uh, absolutely love the look of the lettuce there. Just wish I had packed my uh, salad spinner. So. Keep walking through. Wine is a big wine is a big thing down here in New Zealand. Ina works at a uh, at a winery. So here they've got wines from uh, all over the world. It looks like. Interestingly enough, you know, as pricey as things can be here in New Zealand, uh, it doesn't seem like alcohol is uh, all that pricey. And there is uh, Ina and Hiro all walking around to probably pick out something to, to eat. But uh, maybe they're going to find a... Uh, Maybe they're going to find a flat white somewhere around here. It smells good in here. There's some French uh, French flags, hence the uh, the French market. Let's see what they've got here. So pretzels are two fifty, and you've got your raspberry Danish going for. Uh, for 450, blueberry Danish. And what do we have here? I'm not sure I can pronounce that. Pain Paneo Pano chocolate. And there's a uh, nice almond croissant. That'll cost set you back five dollars or do the math. I think what is that? That's four dollars, four US dollars. Yeah. 
Sunday morning in Auckland. It's different. Musical instruments that they have. I think that's called a mandalay. I'm not sure. That looks like an old rugby, old leather rugby. Rugby or a rugby ball or I don't know what they call that. Here you can buy yourself some, looks like some freshly baked bread. Boy, the smell of coffee is just wonderful. I can imagine walking through doing this video, you get a uh, you get a sense of the different, you know, the diversity of the of the walks of life here. That people from uh, all over the all over the world come here. Looks like it's all shopping. We got some butterflies. Are these butterflies on the wall from New Zealand? No. Uh huh. This is this is from New Zealand. That is okay. This is. The blue one? Tropical Queensland, Australia. Uh huh. This is Indonesia. Now, did you catch? Are these your specimens? Did you? We didn't import them. No, a couple of young guys imported them into the country. Yeah. Uh huh. And they and they have them. They mounted here. Yeah. I'll be darn. <laughs> now, you, are you a ki are you you're what's called a kiwi? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kiwi. Well, actually, not quite. I was born in Fiji, but. Okay. Yeah. I'm what's called a yank. <laughs> the, the yank. Huh? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a yank. Do you do you do you ki what do they call it? Ki kiwi kiwiens? No, just kiwi. What's the plural? Kiwis. kiwis. Do you kiwis like us yanks? Oh yeah, yeah. You do, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, that's good that's good to know. <laughs> we don't take American Express though. Okay. <laughs> Have a good Sunday, okay? If you want to see yourself on on the internet, go to tomdownunder.com. Tomdownunder.com. Tom Tom huh? I'm from San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, the uh, the folks here in New Zealand are the the Kiwis are a rather friendly group. At least the ones that I've uh, been fortunate to come across. Okay, so I think that is uh, pretty much a good walkthrough of the of the French market. Now you need to go find uh, need to go find Ina and uh, Hirol. Hirol's name is spelled H-I-R-A-L, and she is from uh, New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. So they're around here somewhere. This is uh, looks like you got all the all the cheese. A lot of people here uh, lined up to get some cheese. I'll give you a shot there. We'll just keep. It. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called Mike's Carvery. Delicious hot carb sandwich is made to order. So he's making up a uh, making up a sandwich right there. What kind of sandwich is that you're making? Pork belly. Pork belly? This no. is classic. Okay, it looks good. Ten dollars thank you. Okay. And then this looks like a uh, popular spot. There's uh there's Zena. And here all. So look at all the uh, Wow. This food actually looks really, really good. 
I don't know if I can get a shot of it. This is a bacon and egg. So this is a bacon and egg. There, you can read it. Bacon egg brioche. Boy, that looks really. Yeah, are they not heated? That uh, looks really yeah. good. They were cooked, but they've been out. Then you've got yeah, some uh, sandwiches. Looks like you've got an one, 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 egg one, on there. Yep. Egg with some away. bacon. Oh, both take away one. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and then look at, uh, look at that. Thank you. Looks like uh, pizza or something. Uh, so, all right. On my way back out into the crowd. Got a man over here. Looks like he's making uh, making juice. Industrial size uh, juicer going on there. All juices are six dollars. You can get a cleanser, a spruce juice, a veggie juice, or the special of the week: a berry slushy, a cold drink with apple, orange, berries, and ice. Just uh, just right around here, you've got your French crepes. Nobody wants French crepes today. If Todd were here, Todd would probably order up a French crepe, I bet. For those of you not uh, familiar with Todd, Todd is a gentleman in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. That uh, this guy in Baltimore, Maryland started following me uh, a year or two ago. Here you've got the uh, paella. They're cooking up. That sure looks good. I love paella. Okay, so that is the uh, that's a walkthrough of the of the French market here in uh, in Auckland. And uh, in closing out this part of the video, I'll share another little kiwi resident here, so you can see the market is uh, very dog friendly. All right. So anyway, we'll uh, we're gonna go over to Mission Bay now and enjoy a nice walk along one of the more scenic uh, scenic parts of Auckland that I've been that I've seen. Actually, I was there last week, so we'll go enjoy that as well. So this will give you a better look of the uh, items here. This is a roast cap capsicum stuffed with curried rice, raisins, and sunflower seeds and yogurt. That's what I think I'm going to try is, is one of those. And then you have your veal sausage roll and your bacon and egg briche. And here you've got a, what is that, curried lamb. Danish. It all looks good. Okay, so I thought I was done filming here at the uh, French market, but Hiro came up and asked me if I like pork belly. So, uh, so Hiro is uh, over here getting us a uh, a pork belly sandwich, which looks. Which one is ours, Hiro? You know, I hope it's the third one in. I think it is the third one. Uh, yeah, I hope it's that one there. It might be the second one. Look at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> that looks good. Mike, you're doing a great job. I am Mike. But... You're not Mike. It says Mike's Carvery. Yeah, Mike's the owner. Oh, so Mike's sitting at home watching uh, rugby right now or something, right? <laughs> All right, that looks good. So I'm going to split a, uh, a pork belly with... Uh, Vietnamese style. Vietnamese style? We didn't get the classic. Okay. There you go. Is it spicy? It's a little bit of All right. Do you want more spice? Can you throw more chili on it? Whatever. It's okay. I like spice. Spice is good. All right. So we're going to dig into our pork belly sandwich here. All right. We're heading on over to Mission Bay, and in doing so, we're going past the port, and you can see all the big containers there getting ready to be loaded onto the ships by that big crane that you see there. So, I wish it were a little bit nicer today, but 
I guess being with such two beautiful, lovely ladies that, accom that uh, compensates for the gray, overcast uh, weather here in, in Auckland. So we're just, uh, this is the port of Oakland that we're going past on our way up to, to Mission Bay. And there's the water. Alright, we have found our way to the Michael Joseph Savage Memorial. And I don't know, I'm not quite sure who Michael Savage, Michael Joseph Savage was, but uh, I'm sure this will probably tell us. Uh, let's see here. Who was uh, this gentleman here? No. No? Michael, this is now the site of the memorial to Michael Joseph Savage, 1872 to 1940, this country's first labor prime minister, remor remembered by a tall obelisk, sunken pool and gardens. Okay, so there you go. This is uh, Michael J. Savage, this country's first uh, labor. Now, what does that mean, labor prime minister? What is it? More of the people's. Is that a party? Is yes, is the labor, like the labor party? Labor party, national party. And that would be like in the states, the equivalent to having the Democratic. first, the first Republican, whatever, right? Oh, or the no, first Democratic. Labor, the, yeah, exactly. More okay. Democratic. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So there is a. Uh, How nice is this? They call this the sunken garden. Sunken garden. Okay, so let's do a nice. Uh, Don't take on very nice. Nice shot. Well, I've got my, my and there's your and the there's your obelisk, and maybe I can actually zoom in. Sure, would be nicer if it were a sunny day, but that's all right. So there is your, your obelisk coming down, and that's the Washington Memorial of New Zealand. Let's just put it that way. Right here, all? Sorry? That's the uh, Washington Monument of uh, Auckland. Yeah, I guess it's a good one. <laughs> okay. There's actually, some nice, uh, some nice views from up here. So I'm going to walk, walk my, uh, walk my way down around and show you some of the, of the nice views of the water and the skyline of of Auckland. Here's a view from one side of the the hill up here. It's uh, probably can't see Auckland too well. It's not a uh, not a great day but there's the port and just behind the port you can see the faint skyline of, of Auckland. If I come back around you'll see there's a uh, looks like a residential area over here. So we're heading down from the Michael Savage Memorial and I see these birds and they are a, uh, I guess they're New called a, a New Zealand native. It's called a pukeko. Poo so here all are they good eating? They're, they're, they're pests. They're considered pests? Really? Yeah. Why? Do they like bird droppings and no, do they eat they, the rubber off your cars? And I think they just eat everything that. I'll be done. All right. Well, cool. And they're vicious. Vicious? What do you mean they're vicious? Against humans? Well, they're not. They're not. They're not very nice. Huh? I'll be done. You don't have them as pets, huh? Okay.